Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to look at a suggestion from uh, William Johnston about uh, how to make an antenna that covers everything from 80 meters or 75 in this case all the way up through 10 meters and he wants to do it with uh, um, ham sticks and I'll explain his idea to you very quickly uh, the MFJ octopus which is uh, electrically the same as the chameleon spider hubs you have a hub with several sides here okay and you have out of each one of these a ham stick all right and you can get this from mfj or chameleon antennas and they're basically a hybrid between this holder and they go on a, a pole. So if this is a 20 meter ham stick, this is a 20 meter ham stick. 20 meter ham stick is designed to be a vertical and it has a bottom where there is a loading coil and then just basically straight down to the bottom. This is a stinger. So you can adjust this this way inside here to get to the part of the band you want. And this goes on a mag mount on top of your car. And it's a vertical. And they're all the same size, regardless of what band. The 80 meter band is a tremendously big coil. 10 meter band doesn't have much of a coil at all, but they're all the same size. So if you were to put two of these and put them together back to back, you've got a dipole fed in the center. Okay, this might be 10 meters over here to uh, 10 meters. Okay, this could be 15 to 15. Um, and this could be 30 and this 30. Okay, so you can get four bands. Now, if you want to cover different bands, you're going to have to take them down and put up the new antennas. Uh, these things, this thing is a pain to tune when you first get it. But once you get it up, the tune, it, they tune relatively independently of each other. So you aren't constantly up and down, up and down, up and down to tune the thing. Um, I have a video. Uh, on the octopus antenna, how that works. Now, um, William's suggestion is to, and I'm going to have to draw this differently in order to see this. So if you've got a pole, and you've got a hub, and you've got antennas, out like this, okay. He wants to come up another three feet and repeat that with the remaining bands. So if you've got 80, 40, um, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, and 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there's four bands here and four bands here and he would put two on top of each other to uh, see if it would work um i'm not so sure um i mean the uh, the octopus is fundamentally a um fan dipole with all fans out from the same point. Ideally, if you're going to do that, you're going to put all of them in the same place. Noting that 15 will transmit on 40 also because of the harmonic relationship. Um, 
you almost need to pull this down here but then the antenna pieces really start getting in touch with each other i i think this distance has got to be enough to make this a separate antenna i would put that over 30 to 50 feet away okay and now you got two cables and i'd use a switch on them i wouldn't try to to feed everything together um the problem with a fan dipole let me show you what a fan dipole is because that's fundamentally what is going on here you've got a dipole and it's 80 meters and you've got one coming off here that's 40 40 uh 20 20 you know and they're up maybe a little bit closer to each other but they have a common feed point and it's fed by one uh, piece of coax. Uh, you can really only take this so far. And then you start getting the minor interactions that were between these become major interactions. Okay, so um, I'm a little leery of it. It might work. It might work. Now he mentions in here that a 49 to 1 end fed half wave or 9 to 1 random wire is less expensive. Oh yeah, very much so. The um, My antennas, uh, 80 to 10 uh, end fed half wave, which I believe has a 49 to 1 uh, uh, mo ballon in it, uh, is uh, a pretty good antenna, but it takes quite a bit of space. It's over 100 feet long. Um, so you've got to have some room. One of the nice things about the octopus or um, MFJ has another antenna very similar in concept. Anyway, it looks like this. It's got um, four points and a feed point. And it's got the feed point here. And then you've got a wire going out like this. And then one going out like this on the poles, which come in out to here, down to here, over to here, and back to here. And you can get from 40 through 10 on this. That is almost the same as that dipole. This is almost the same as that NFED dipole, except you don't have 80 on here. Um, a lot of people don't use 80 if they're new hams. 80 is more a province of nets of old timers who get on and just yak. I had one of these. It was a nice antenna. I really liked it. It was a bit of a compromise antenna, um, meaning the gain was slightly less than a dipole. But I used it extensively until one very sad evening a deer um, came out. We had both deer and elk around here, not to mention bears. But here was the mast with the antenna on top of it. It was a guy rope. The deer came here and ran up the guy rope and in the process of doing this by running uh, pulled up this stake right here which caused this whole thing to come down and then he or she ran through the the wires and stuff here basically in two seconds destroying it um so I looked at trying to piece it back together, but it's going to end up in the trash, I think. I just haven't put it there yet, but we've got to put it in the trash and get it out of here. It is um, too bad because it was a very nice antenna. Uh, it was sent to me by MFJ for review. I gave it a very good review, and uh, you can do the, the same thing. It's a, it looks like a spider web or a clothesline or something like that. Um, 
and it would be another good antenna for a small space uh, type of thing and it'll do all bands from 40 meters up to uh, 6 meters. Uh, they're a little work to string, you gotta string them, but they're okay. I like it. I'm gonna spend a minute and see if I can find the name of this thing. It's $469. Uh, we'll take you a little while to string together, but you'll have a, a cobweb. There's really no tuning to it. Everything's cut just right. Um, it's not outrageously huge looking because you've got a 40 meter halfway or 20 let's see 40 meters so that's 20 meters all the way around divided by five is four meters or 12 feet or so 12 or 13 feet on a side it's not very big and it's probably pretty easy to convince a homeowners association to let you put the thing up so there you have it. Um, I would suggest that rather than this more expensive approach of doing it with uh, the poles. Uh, the way that uh, William has the thing laid out here um, is that uh, you get that many antennas close together, it's going to be hard to keep them separate tuning-wise. I would, instead of setting up uh, two right on top of each other, or any distance right on top of each other, I'd separate the two poles by 30 or 40 feet if I could, and then it would work, work just fine. So there you have it. If you would like to help support this channel, you may do so by going to decastlercom slash support and picking a way that you find most helpful. Please also subscribe and click the bell and click like, and don't forget to comment. Until we next meet, 73.